Are you ready to start your journey into photography? These are five essential items that you must have in order to get started in photography. Without them, you're just dead in the water. Let's get into it. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Mike Hall and I write and make videos on photography and productivity. If you find this information valuable, please consider subscribing. Okay, so the number one thing all beginner photographers need is a camera. This of course is a no brainer. You just can't do photography without one. Trust me, I've tried. Cameras range in price, size, and use case. For the purpose of this video, we're gonna be focusing on interchangeable lens cameras. These are the gold standard when it comes to professional photography. They allow photographers to swap out different style lenses depending on what it is they wanna shoot. The two main types of interchangeable lens cameras are mirrorless and DSLR, or digital single lens reflex. DSLRs contain an optical viewfinder and mirror that is flipped up to expose the sensor when taking a picture. Mirrorless cameras, as their name implies, don't have a mirror and instead rely on the electronic sensor and electronic viewfinder to capture an image. When it comes to sensor size, there's 35mm or full frame and then APS-C or crop sensor. Full frame sensors are the standard when it comes to professional photography. They allow for more detail and perform better in low light albeit at a higher cost when compared to APS-C cameras. APS-C cameras have a smaller sensor that allows them to fit inside smaller camera bodies and generally cost less. However, you're not getting the same low light performance as with full frame, and most camera manufacturers produce less of a variety of APS-C lenses. Interchangeable lens cameras require a lens be attached to the camera in order to function. There are two types of lenses, prime and zoom. Prime lenses have a fixed focal length or a fixed angle of view. For example, a 16mm lens will be able to capture a wide field of view, whereas a 300mm lens will have extremely narrow field of view. Zoom lenses have a variable focal length, which means they can be zoomed in and out from various fields of view. For example, a 24-70mm to lens can be shot at all focal lengths between 24mm and 70mm. Prime lenses are typically faster than zoom lenses, which means their aperture value, or the amount of light allowed through the lens, is greater than what is allowed through zoom lenses. Most prime lenses average on the high end around f1.4 or f1.8, allowing for that blown out, bulky background look. The best zooms, on the other hand, only allow f2, f2.8, making them slow in comparison. The main advantage of zoom lenses is that they allow for more versatility since they cover multiple focal lengths and reduce the need to carry around multiple prime lenses. No one really gets excited about spending money on memory cards, but you just can't take photos without them. Most, if not all, cameras do not have built-in storage. Your camera requires a memory card so that you can save images. Cheaper, more consumerist cameras have at least one memory card slot, whereas higher-end professional cameras will have two for added redundancy. The two main card types are SD, or Secure Digital, and CF Express, or Compact Flash. Memory cards are rated by their read-write speeds and storage capacity. The faster the write speed, the faster your camera is able to store pictures. Fast writing speeds are ideal when you need to take many pictures all at once, like with sports action and wildlife photography. Once you've taken your photos, it's wise to get them in some sort of photo editing software. This allows you to fine tune the images to your liking. Adobe Lightroom is one of the most common editing platforms available today. In Lightroom, you can adjust different settings such as exposure, white balance, contrast, saturation, color grading, crop, and much more. Lightroom ideally should be run on a computer, but can be used on mobile devices such as a phone or a tablet. Keep in mind you don't have to edit your photos. Photography is an art form that allows for self-expression of ideas. I believe though, it's good practice to use some sort of minor editing, especially when you first start out. Doing so is a good exercise in understanding the different variables of photography and how they impact an image. If you want to get into photography, you must have had or have an idea of what it is you want to shoot. There are many different styles and genres of photography. Depending on what you want to shoot, you may need to purchase additional gear, such as a tripod or lighting. But most photography can be done with just these items. 
Be sure to explore different types of photography and try and step outside of your comfort zone. It's a great hobby and for some, a lifelong profession. Are there any items you think are essential to get started in photography that I may have missed? If so, leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please drop a like and consider subscribing. You can also check out more of my work on my website, theproductivephotog.com. See you guys in the next one.